I'm Nick Temple with MP Systems and today we're going to talk about poison ivy. So, got all sorts of poison ivy over here. Little ones over here that got a little bit of red tint to them. Sometimes it can be tough to identify poison ivy in the field, so leaves of three let it be. We got bigger ones with jagged edges, so if it looks like it might be poison ivy, stay out of it. And as we go down here further, there's bigger leaves. Just some of the key features to look for is obviously three leaves. It changes colors with different seasons. So if you don't know what it is, stay out of it or ask somebody. That's our poison ivy tip of the week. This is Kyle Williams, the branch two. And we're gonna talk about wild parsnip. With wild parsnip, uh, when you get the sap on you, you're in the direct sunlight, can cause burning and irritation, and also it could cause rashes. To identify a wild parsnip, um, it's got the, a rigid stem and an umbrella-like uh, flowering, and the flowers are usually yellow. When parsnip smaller, it can be harder to identify, but it will usually have five or more leaves. Wild parsnip can usually be found on the side of the road, so be cautious when working on the side of the road.